Just do it. Just do it. No, I'm not starting a Nike ad. <laughs> I'm talking about your dreams. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Some people dream of success, but you will go out and work hard for it. What is keeping you back? What are you waiting for? You can do it. Get started. It is so important to take that first step. It is so important to realize this, that you have to start the first step and then build on the next step after that and the next one after that. A couple of weeks ago, actually a couple of months ago, in the beginning of April, my line manager at work came to me and challenged me to do the Two Oceans Ultra Marathon next year, April, and I refused. An ultra marathon, marathon, excuse me, is 56 kilometers, people. <laughs> I enjoy running, but I hung up my long distance running tackies a long time ago. But somehow, she convinced me, and I started training. In April, I could hardly do four kilometers without feeling every pounding of my feet on the road and the aching agony in my muscles screaming at me to stop this nonsense. <laughs> but I kept on going. Little by little, I improved. And this past weekend, I managed to do 15 kilometers quite comfortably. It is so important and so simple, I don't want you to miss it. So please pay attention. If you choose a path and you stay where you are, you are not going to progress along that path. If you don't take that first step, you will never reach any destination, let alone the one you want to aim for. A guy by the name of Jordan Peterson puts it like this. Let's say you do choose a path, and it's the wrong path. You go down this path, you decide to take the step, and take the next step after that, and somewhere, somewhere down this pathway, you realize this is not the pathway I was meant to be, or this is not the pathway that's good for me. This is not my purpose. At least you would have progressed from where you started from. And your perspective of the world would have changed. You can see another pathway somewhere else that you want to start joining that pathway. Your perspective of yourself and your purpose will have changed. It is so important that we realize that we have to take the first step so that we can see what is presented to us after we take that step because we can't see what we could have seen if we took that first step. It is so important to take that first step and build on to the next step. This evening's theme is less talk, more action. Yes, we are here this evening, all of us, because we want to make a change. We want to grow. We want to hang around people that will empower us to move forward. We want to hang around people that we associate with and become a better person ourselves by mere association. But that's all good and well. But nothing will happen if we don't take action. The trick is in the execution and taking action and moving forward. Less talk, more action. Just do it. What's holding you back? What is it that is holding your back, you back? The biggest important thing is to be patient. To execute and still be patient during execution. What is it that makes us stop? Is it because we don't get the results we wanted when we wanted it? Is the results not coming quickly enough? Is someone else achieving the goals before we do? Is it because we compare ourselves to other people? But do we know that person's obstacles and fears that they had to overcome? Do we know their full story? 
Most likely not. It is so important that we realize that we must stop comparing ourselves to other people. Let people judge. What does it matter if they judge us? Let them judge. The only reason someone would ridicule you is because they have their own fears. They are afraid that you would actually make it. Right? Once you start making it, once you achieve what you set out to achieve, you take away their excuses. And by doing that, you prove to someone else that it is possible. Like Tepe was saying earlier this evening. Do not let fear hold you back. Just do it. Take that first step. You can do it. You are worthy of it. And it is worth it. Even if you never achieve your goal, at least you would have moved forward and gained the experience. My mother always says, no experience is bad experience. Every experience we go through makes us wiser and changes our perspective and makes us realize that we've moved forward, that we are worthy of achieving that we want to achieve. I want to end off with this quote I heard uh, by a na guy named Jim Rohn. <clears throat> he speaks to a crowd and he talks about how life is risky. Everything is risky. Having children is risky. Getting married is risky. Starting a business is risky. In fact, life is so risky that none of us make it out alive. You might as well just do it. <laughs>